What's going on, Apple Tech fam? With the continuity of the Apple ecosystem becoming even more immersive with each OS update, it can be hard to keep up with the rate of change, and certain features might be easily overlooked or missed altogether. And if you're the owner of an iPhone or a Mac computer, then I want to share with you one of my new favorite features that I haven't seen much talk about, the continuity camera. Over the last few years, many of us have started officing from home, and staying connected has never been more important than it is right now. And some of the ways that we achieve that is through Zoom conferences, FaceTime calls, and many other video apps. And although the cameras that come in the MacBooks have gotten significantly better over the years, they're still not giving us that crystal clear quality that we'd hope to see with their subpar 720 and 1080p quality. And that's not a knock on MacBooks, it's just a fact of the matter. The continuity camera is a feature that allows you to quickly and easily transform your iPhone into a webcam that can easily be paired with a MacBook or Mac computer allowing you to take the quality of your next video conference or live stream to the next level. And setting up this feature will also give you the ability to use your iPhone to give you a top-down view of your desk, letting you scan documents and take pictures that import straight to your Mac. This is just the latest example of a practical application built right into the Apple ecosystem, saving you from having to go out and spend money on a quality webcam if the one that's built into your MacBook just isn't cutting it. Before we dive in any further, I want to share with you the sponsor of today's video, MacPaul, and in particular, their flagship product, Clean My Mac. Over time, your device's RAM can become filled with temporary files, background processes, and other data you may not need or want. This can slow your device's performance and cause your Mac to run slow and sluggish. Clean My Mac is a one-stop shop to get your computer back to running like it did the day you bought it. In order to show you how easy it is to use, I put it to the test on an almost 10-year-old iMac that runs slower than your grandma. It's super easy to install, whether that's from the App Store or straight from the MacPaul website. After that, it takes no skill whatsoever. Just let the app do all the work, and the results speak for themselves. And with multiple different subscription plans, they have one that works with every budget. To learn more or to try it out, check out one of the links in the description. All right, let's talk about setting this thing up. In order to use the continuity camera, you're going to have to be using an iPhone 8 or newer and a Mac that's running Mac OS Ventura or later with both the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled on each device. That last piece about the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is very important. The first time I tried to set this up, I was out in public and I had my MacBook connected to my phone's hotspot and I couldn't figure out for the life of me why in the heck I couldn't get this thing to connect. But I went through it, so you don't have to. It's all good now. Once the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are enabled on both devices, ensure the continuity camera webcam slider is turned on in your iPhone settings. It should come turned on by default, but just to be sure, we'll double check it. We'll go to Settings, General, AirPlay and Handoff, Continuity Camera Webcam. Now you're probably going to want to use some sort of mount in order to hold your phone at the top of your display, but it's not a necessity. You can always just hold your iPhone in your hands, prop it up against something, or even use a tripod, as long as it's within Bluetooth range. Now I think the mount's probably going to give you the best result, and there are many relatively inexpensive mounting options to choose from online. I'm currently using the Stouchy Aluminum MagSafe mount that I picked up off Amazon, but they more or less all function the same. Once you have your iPhone's camera in place, go ahead and open your desired video app and then navigate to the application setting that lets you choose which camera you want to use. For this demonstration, we're going to open up the QuickTime player. In QuickTime, next to the circular red record button, there's a drop-down menu that lets you choose both the camera and microphone you desire. Where you select your phone as the camera is normally different in each application. For example, in FaceTime, you'll have to select the video menu from the taskbar at the top of your screen. And now you're ready to hop onto your next Zoom call without the potential embarrassment from that poor quality, grainy footage. But the possibilities of this feature doesn't end there. We're just getting started. From your Max Control Center, you can also select your camera to use different effects such as center stage, portrait mode, and desk view. Unfortunately, some of these different effects require you to have certain iPhones in order to use them. Center stage, for example, is an effect that will virtually keep you in the center of the frame when using the continuity camera, but will only work with the cameras from the iPhone 11 and later. This is perfect for those of you who swivel back and forth during those long zoom calls. Studio light is another great effect that uses the camera from your iPhone to brighten up and bring more light to your image, but is only available to those of you using the iPhone 12 or later. 
whereas portrait mode should work with most iPhones on the market these days. And this effect is pretty much self-explanatory, but will give you a cutout of your face and body and blur your background and comes in handy if you're jumping on a video call first thing in the morning and you forgot to tidy up your office. The final feature is by far the most impressive and can be equipped with anything from the iPhone 11 or newer, Desk View. And Desk View uses your ultra wide camera to provide you with a top down view of anything on your desk, allowing you to easily present things you want your viewers to see. It's nothing short of computational wizardry. And that's continuity camera. I hope you guys enjoyed this video explaining this feature. It's crazy how technology can make our lives easier and let us stay more connected. I'm sure a lot of you out there are already taking advantage of the continuity camera in your daily lives. And if you're not, I highly recommend giving it a try. Let me know down in the comments if you plan on using this feature, or if you currently are, let us know what your experience is so far. And of course, as always, if you like this video, make sure to leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See ya.